or the William Wallace speech that really happened about many years from now lying in our beds, what would you give just once, just once, to come back here and tell our enemies, you can t take our lives, but you'll never take our freedom. That's what it's all about. They tell you, don't have energy in politics. Don't get upset. Don't have strong rhetoric. Just go along to get along. That's how you get ahead in life. That is not how you get ahead in life. You may get ahead in life in a corporation or a marriage or a business or at the golf club being nice and congenial, and that is how you should act in nice company. But you do not do that with a predatory global corporate takeover coming in and taking over. If you sit there and just mince words with it, we're going to lose. If you get aggressive, get out of your comfort zone, get angry, take action, tell it like it is, people will hear what you say and they will wake up. I mean, what happens when a crow up in a tree while the other crows are down foraging on the ground, they'll leave a watchman up in the top of the tree. Crows are one of the smartest birds out there in major studies. All blackbirds are in that family of the, uh, the ravens, the crows, you name it. They're the, about the smartest birds there are. They can count, you name it. You get a gaggle of crows, even bigger group, I guess, is a murder. That's what they call them. And you'll get them up there watching, and they'll flap around and crawr, crawr, if, they, if they see something like a human or something else that could be dangerous to the crows that are on the ground. And that's all I'm doing is hopping around up in the top of the tree going, bah, 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 bah. And, 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 and the young Turks will probably play that clip and, and say, oh, look at what a kook he is. He makes, you know, he makes bird noises. Out of context, I'm trying to illustrate what I do at a primitive level. It's not that special. It's just that we've been taught not to run around like chickens with their heads cut off. I mean, Paul Revere rode around on a big black horse saying, get your guns and get ready to kill people. To arms, to arms, the redcoats are coming. The British are coming. One is by land, two is by sea. To arms, to arms, with other people riding out. I just go to Piers Morgan and say, listen, redcoat, you try to take our guns, this is going to start a new civil war. Stop acting like you don't want to take them. That's the plan. You're on notice. Oh, my gosh, it's so radical. Oh, but everybody knows about it. Everybody a year plus later talks about it. They sure didn't want me back if it was so discrediting, getting double their ratings. They're scared of it. They told me they're scared of it. They're scared of you getting out of your comfort zone and waking up. Now, there they are this year saying that his anti-gun stuff has killed his show. That's right. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to defeat these people. We are waking the population up. We are taking action. Now, let's go ahead and go to Napolitano last night, or was this this morning? I guess it was, you know, Fox and Friends, uh, talking about the new era of tyranny, radical new era of tyranny. That's right, it's a radical new age tyranny. Tyranny 2.0. That's what it is, and it, there's no other way to say it's anything else. Big red fire engine, big red fire engine. Go to the zoo, you're looking at a tiger, it's a tiger. Turn on the television, it's, it's Obama. This is tyranny. I mean, you're looking at it, it's what it is, what's you going to do about it? Stop complying, withdraw your consent, speak out against it, it'll implode. It needs you to go along with it. It's all a big confidence game with Michelle Obama on TV every day and all this garbage. Let's go to Napolitano telling it like it is. They are reading our emails. They're, they're reading our texts. They're looking at our, our bank statements. They're reading our utility bills. They know everything they about us. They put out my garbage last night. Well, that would be nice if they did that. Now they want to know ahead of time what news we're going to cover. Those pieces you just ran of the president praising the First Amendment right. were accurate and true. What he forgot to say, however, is that this freedom is not just necessary and vital. It's absolutely guaranteed in the First Amendment. That beyond dispute, there is no case that stands for the That's contrary right. of that proposition. Can it survive based on the pressure that it's going to receive? I don't think so. That's a great question. This, this is a radical new era of tyranny for the White House. I can't imagine it getting to first base. Right. Now, what do you recommend Roger Ailes do? If the FCC shows up here, Mr. Ailes, throw them out. Unless they have a search warrant from a judge, which they'll never get. That's right, but they don't care. They'll show up and everybody will kiss their butt or they'll tie it to licensing and they'll do it. They're going to do it. 
And they already send these federal bureaucrats here for these business assessments, part of the census. Totally unconstitutional. They get real threatening and say, you're going to answer all our questions. And I say, get out of here. But most people just literally grovel in fear. A nation of sheep will be ruled by wolves. When we come back, Polish minister tells the opposition in Ukraine, if you don't take this deal, you'll all be dead under martial law. We'll talk about what's happening in Ukraine, the economy, in New York City. What's the number one killer of blacks? We'll tell you about that as well. Stay with us. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com. Keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. By now, you may know that a Bitcoin is the first decentralized currency that's easily transferred from person to person over the Internet. No bank needed. This means lower fees and accounts can never be frozen, limited, or closed. Plus, a large number of businesses and merchants already accept Bitcoins. And Bitcoins are easily exchanged for dollars, euros, and more. If you're interested in making money in the Bitcoin market right away, and by right away we mean start making money today, please visit us at cloudhashing.com. Cloudhashing.com is one of the fastest growing Bitcoin miners in the world, delivering the highest profits to people just like you. To get started, join us at cloudhashing.com and you will start mining Bitcoins right away and get paid daily. You heard correctly. You will receive payments every single day. And the best part? You do not need a computer or need any experience in mining Bitcoins. It's perfect for everyone. Learn more at cloudhashing.com. Just like it sounds, cloudhashing.com. Start making money today at cloudhashing.com. My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com huge mountain house sale at emergency essentials right now get 25 percent off every can go to beprepared.com for the guaranteed lowest price you'll find anywhere mountain house freeze-dried meals are famous for their proven 25 year shelf life delicious flavors and easy preparation this week only save 25 percent on over 30 mountain house varieties for the best selection call emergency essentials at 800-999-1863 or visit beprepared.com the choice is clear be unprepared or beprepared.com Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Back Sundays, and I'll be here this Sunday live, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, with the Sunday Worldwide Transmission. 
The news websites are Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Well, I was saying I'll tell you the number one cause of death for black people. Uh, it's not just in New York City, but that's the CNSNews.com headline. More black babies killed by abortion than born. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Simply amazing. More killed by abortion than born. And that is part of the uh, national average as well. But don't hold your breath to hear the NAACP talk about that, ladies and gentlemen. Don't ever hold your breath uh, to discuss anything like that. By the way, pretty amazing from the FBI. Well, well first off, the, the, the FCC commissioner came out and criticized Obama's plan and Holder's plan, because uh, that's who's driving it. Uh, they run everything. Uh, to come in and come into every newsroom and, quote, make sure you're covering news that helps women and minorities. That's just a way to get into the newsroom and then start claiming everything's racist or whatever. It's the First Amendment. You have no right, period, to be involved, no matter what the news is. I can put whatever, quote, slant on it I want. My slant is freedom. My bias is liberty. Uh, I'm going to engage in a serious agenda of truth. <laughs> And the Constitution, from a libertarian perspective, I wear it on my sleeve. They're like, ooh, we're going to find if there's bias. Bias, the Attorney General runs around saying brainwash people against guns. So on the heels of that, and uh, our reporter David Knight's been calling the FCC the last few days about this. He's tried to get comments from them. They've been stonewalling, and then now they've been flip-flopping. So this is going to be some breaking news from the FCC that you're about to hear and maybe one of our writers wants to pick up on this and put it out because it's it's a definitely uh, national news what they're up to. But shifting gears into another First Amendment uh, chilling effect, Weekly Standard reports, senators demand FBI head answer questions about indictment of Dinesh D'Souza. So that's good. Uh, the issue that he's clearly being politically persecuted, even if you don't believe that when the evidence is overwhelming that he is, Imagine if Michael Moore, two years after he put out Fahrenheit 9-11, had been indicted by the Bush White House Justice Department. I mean, people would be freaking out. I would be freaking out over some campaign donations of a few thousand dollars that bundling is completely done across the board by Democrats, Republicans. It's the same stuff they indicted Ken Lay and spent six years trying to put him in jail for. So here it is. Senators demand FBI head answer questions about indictment of Dinesh D'Souza. Four United States senators have written a letter to FBI Director James Comey about the indictment of author and filmmaker Dinesh D'Souza. Senator Charles Grassley, ranking member of the Judiciary Committee. So this is bipartisan, you notice. Jeff Sessions, Ted Cruz, Mike Lee, and four, and there are four senators, uh, all Republicans, but also some Democrats uh, who have signed the letter. The letter quotes Harvard Law School professor Alan Dershowitz is saying, I can't help but think D'Souza's politics have something to do with it. It smacks of selective prosecution. And, of course, you know he's a big Democrat. And the senator's right to dispel the sort of public perception that Mr. D'Souza may have been targeted because of his outspoken criticism of the president. It's important for the FBI to be transparent regarding the, uh, the precise origin of the investigation. Well, folks, here's the issue. Obama got about a third, you can look this up, of his donations last go around and before that as well from offshore IP addresses and public offshore. He would go to offshore uh, foreign fundraisers, quote, where Americans would be meeting him, but he would get all sorts of money. And then you've got Solyndra and Fast and Furious and all the bid rigging and all the corruption and the, the, the takeover of General Motors and taking the franchises away from people that weren't Democrats. I mean, just really mafia government type stuff. And when they go after Republican governors for crooked toenails, when they go after filmmakers, everybody is in deep trouble, obviously. And that's coming out. Yeah, there's a headline right there. Obama's offshore team. Some of the president's top donors are foreign tax havens. Yep, just look it up. It appears uh, from U.S. Attorney's Office comment, this is the senators, that the FBI conducts regular, perhaps random reviews of campaign filings. This is correct. If so, what methodology does the FBI use to conduct these reviews? Well, let me tell you. 
they admit with the IRS they didn't audit one 501c3 progressive or democratic or communist organization. That came out in the news last year. In fact, pull that up, guys.